object versioning on S3, hands-on. Interesting topic. Welcome back, friends. In this video, I will show you how to manage object versions on S3. First, I will create a bucket and upload a couple of files to the bucket and then enable its static website property, okay? So that the bucket can be used as a static website, okay? After that, I will delete a couple of files to show how versioning works on S3, okay? So let's start. I am on the S3 homepage. Okay, so first I will click on create a bucket to create an S3 bucket. Now here I need to provide a bucket name. So let me copy and paste the bucket name that I have. I've added it here, Nodax, because the bucket name must be unique across all AWS accounts. Okay, so this is my bucket name and reason. And for the reason Northern Virginia region is okay because this is my nearest location and rest of the default is okay. To block all public access, I will uncheck this option the reason is that uh, I will be using this bucket as my static website, right? So to host a static website on an S3 bucket, the bucket must be public, okay? That's the reason I have unchecked this option. And now I scroll down and I need to acknowledge this, okay? Enter bucket versioning. I need to enable. The reason is that this is a versioning demo, right? So I need to enable this, okay? So that I can show you how versioning works, but you don't have to. Because if you are, if you don't want to have your objects versioned, then you just have disabled and which is default option. Okay, let me make versioning enable here. And the tag is fine. The defaults are fine. And let's click on create bucket. Okay, now the bucket has been created. Okay, let's select this bucket. What I'll do, I will upload a couple of files here. Let me click on the upload button and add files. And here I will upload these three files here. So one is the index.html, which will act as the document root, right? And these two are images, okay? Click on open and scroll down. I'll click on upload, okay? Now, upload has been succeeded. Let me click on close button, okay? So you could see that these three files are uploaded. Okay, so now if I come to the properties of this bucket, and scroll down, okay, and scroll down, just scroll down, and this property static website hosting right now, since I'm making this bucket as a static website, okay, so I'll click on edit here. And right now, right now this is disabled static website hosting property. So click here on edit and make it enable, okay. Now, static website hosting property has become enabled and this default option is fine. It's the hosted static website. And here I need to give home a default page of this website. Since I uploaded the index.html, right? Okay, this is index.html and, and this will act as a home page or default page for this website. Now click on save changes. Now the, the bucket is acting as a static website. Okay, now we can get the public URL of this website and copy this. Okay, let's open a new tab here. Paste here. I'm getting a forbidden error 403. Okay, the reason I am getting this because I have not configured bucket policy. Let me come here and come to bucket permissions. What I have to do, actually, I'll come on the bucket policy. Okay, I have to configure bucket policy. Okay, uh, click here on edit. Okay, here, click on add new statement. Okay, for principal, I will enter a star. Means anyone can access the effect allow for action. Uh, choose service. I'll say S3. I want to sort of avoid typing. I can get it from here. Okay. So S3, and instead of having all actions, I will look for get object action, okay, get object action. I can get this one, right? Okay, I got this option. Okay, so just, I want one so I can cut this bracket would be fine, but I need only SDK object resource. I need to put, give me ARN in, so I can copy this ARN in from here and I can paste here. 
and see now I need to give access to all object I will put here star okay and let's click on save changes okay now as you can see that I did bucket policy so if I go here now I should be able to see the my website so this is my website okay and the two images and this is the index.html page okay so now what I'll do when we need to see versioning now okay so I come here and uh, come to objects okay right now these are just original files right so if I click on show versions right I should be able to see version ID so now these all each of them have version ID right so let me do one thing let me modify index dot HTML file right? let me click here let me open this index.html file here this is my index.html file let me remove this real world here save it okay now let me go and upload this change add file and this is just I modified it upload now it has been uploaded let me close here so if I click on show versions there are two versions of index.html now this guy was the original one and this is the latest one okay so if I come to our website and refresh it I can see that the real is gone from here because I removed the real okay so okay this is the one thing now let's see how deletion works let me remove this guy okay first I need to click here okay now I'm not keeping versions this is my original file let me just delete this okay and uh, uh, it is asking that okay do you want to delete this okay yes so now this has been deleted if I come here so as you can see now that there are only two files right if I click on so versions okay now you go here and see that okay you do not see this file image because I've deleted this image okay come here but since versioning is enabled right so I can get this original file back it's if I click on show versions I could see that uh, this was my the original file and now there is since I deleted so it is doing it it is showing the delete marker right which is logical delete right so if I click here and if I permanently delete this one then I will get my the original file back right let me click on delete okay now this is gone close this one so if I come here refresh it okay so I got my this uh, original version back okay so it was logically deleted essentially I I could get my previous version back okay now suppose that I want to get my index.html this guy right if I want to get my index.html this one so if I can I can delete this guy right you can come here and say okay let's delete permanently delete okay close here now if I come here refresh it so you see that I got my previous file back you can play around more with versioning if you want for example add files or start deleting them right and see what happens right that's it for this lecture I hope you liked it let's meet in the next lecture okay